everybody, welcome back to the Harmonica Barge. Today I want to talk about Peg Leg Sam. If you've never heard Peg Leg Sam, you've got to check him out. Amazing hobo harmonica player, storyteller, lost his leg from jumping off a freight train when he was younger. What about that? Really unique, rhythmic style, deep, groovy chords, dirty notes, inflections in the notes as well as a lot of party tricks. Let's try a little groove of his. We're going to look at one of his tunes called Strolling. This lesson is in my in-depth series so if you want to get into real detail with this with improvisation, further techniques, do check out the link in the description. So we got this sweet shuffle groove. I'll put down the tin can for the moment. This does suit tongue blocking for sure. If you don't tongue block, yeah, have a go. We're just going to adapt it. But I'm going to slap this two draw. Two slaps and I'm just slapping in the one. I'm not going to go into massive technical detail about that. Check out my other lesson, Hammond's Place, for some slaps and I get into a bit more detail on that lesson. So we've got these two slaps, otherwise just play two chords. If you don't tongue block, two big chords drawing in, holes one, two and three. I'm on an A harmonica. Okay, and we've got those two chords. Now we can think of this as being in a shuffle feel. It's very quirky. It's cha, 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 cha. So the underlying rhythm is a shuffle. Cha, 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 cha. Imagine the drummer. Think of like a hi-hat, the drummer's there. Or a ride cymbal, cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. You know, this hugely popular blues groove that's everywhere in American music, the shuffle, cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. But those two are just quarter notes, so we're like one, two, and then we're going on a chord. So it's like one, two, and and on the and before beat three it's a chord so I go and for this I'm gonna slap the blow three now I think he's doing this he might not be they're really old recordings but I've sort of had to regularize this in order to teach it and we'll get into some variations if you do the in-depth lesson but for now this is kind of cool so I've got this okay so, so far I've got two slaps on the two. When I slap it, I've got that chord crunch to start, which is so nice to get as this power on the shuffle groove. Otherwise, just two chords in. Okay, so. And then a chord. And a three blow. So when I'm hitting that three blow, I'm my tongue's going into two. And I finish with another chord draw, so I get. Okay, I'm nice and slow. Okay, so what I get here, I get this slap on the three, and then when the whole thing comes round again, I'm slapping the two, so it sounds like almost there's three slaps together, which kind of crosses the bar line in a way, which gives it a really cool vibe. So the whole thing a bit faster. Three, four. really important with this even though you're not playing that many shuffles we're playing them on the chords like the slap slap chord three chord the chords are coming on those what we call the skip notes of a shuffle we've got to imply that feel cha 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 if you can get a bit of tremolo vibrato wobbly whatever the hell you want to call it on that two draw Kind of makes it all groove and feel nice and warm with that nice wobble on the two so do try that just a note if you haven't already subscribed then please subscribe to the harmonica barge 
like the channel and leave comments. Tell me what you think of the lesson and what other lessons you want to see. That really helps me out a lot. Thanks very much. So I think Peg Leg Sam's style, a lot of it might come from him playing solo and some great footage. Check out, there's a video called Born for Bad Luck, a documentary on YouTube. Check that out, a half hour video. And he's playing solo, telling stories and then some interjecting singing in with his playing. <laughs> He's not playing a shaky egg, I've just added that. And it's coming from this rhythmic bass and any licks again that are added on top, we're always going to come back to the rhythm. So it's this strong groove that's underpinning everything. I think a lot of his style involves inflections of dirty notes and not always playing clean notes. So especially you'll play a two draw and add a little bit of dirt to it. And that's very characteristic of his style. So when you hear the licks, there's so much of that going on. Here's an example of a lick. And I'm going for maximum dirt there. Hey, why not use the tinker? It's a sweet corn tin, that one. Uh, I think it cost me about 50p, but... Hello there. Some of you may notice I'm not on the boat. This is my second home in the countryside because everyone in England has a second home in the countryside. Honestly. No, I'm only joking. So I want to let you into a little secret. When I was working out this peg leg Sam groove, I took a snapshot of the groove and I worked out some of the licks and I was OK with that. But then I started teaching it. and I've got one student who really likes peg leg Sam and we've been doing a bunch of peg leg Sam. And as we both listen through this groove, we kind of agreed that actually the more popular riff is slightly different to the one I worked out. So I want to give you that as well. And that means that the bass groove that I've given you, you can use that as a variation. So you can never have enough groove riffs to use. But I want to give you what I think the riff is that happens more often. And it's just the difference of one extra note. So instead of this, <laughs> We think you actually hear this more. Which is just an extra quarter note on beat three. So in some ways it's easier. I go one, two, three and four and... Now also, as you're doing this... Especially this is nice for people who don't tongue block. You can play those as chords breathing in. If you slap, then slap away. When I was a little boy my mama told me about strolling and so on. But I try that riff and then you have two riffs that you can use together. That's my little secret. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. So thanks everybody. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Let me know in the comments if you got something from it. And do check out the in-depth lesson on Peg Leg Sam Strolling and any more of my in-depth lessons on a range of old-timey tunes, jug band, Cajun, Zydeco, old-timey country blues. And I'll see you for another video very soon. Until then, take care. Bye bye. <laughs>